All right, let's talk about maybe dreams, like before what you're doing now. You ever thought about being maybe a doctor, a lawyer, or you have any childhood dreams that? Of course, who don't grow up having the oh, I want to be the next doctor or the next nurse? Like I've always been inspired from those that are around me because I have doctors, I have nurses, I have you know I have so many people that different in many fields. Not everyone is an entrepreneur. Not right. everyone is owning their own business. I mean, they still may work for someone else, but they follow their dreams. So it's just me having to take the time out. Like, what did you actually want, Bridget? Like, what was best for you? What best fit you? And what was you able to wake up one day and just be like, I love what I do. Like, yeah. I don't want to go to work and be like, oh my gosh, I got to take care of this motherfucker. I got to do this yeah. and that. Like, I yeah. wanted to be able to wake up one day and be like, this is not work to me. This is this is my life. Like, I enjoy what I do. Okay. Um. Let's talk about your like shoots that you've done with certain Nashville uh, photographers and designers. Do you have anybody that you love to work with? I love home. I love my Nashville family. Um, from Montuelo, who's based out of Antioch, he does phenomenal jobs. Um, from Dre, uh, D. Brown Photography. Um, from Rakia with Rocky and Ruth, her clothing line. I just love supporting my people because they support me and make sure that I'm good all the way around. Um, from Roosevelt, from OHM magazines, like I just have a great support system to where they make sure I'm good regardless of who I work with. If I, if I don't work with them that day, um, from my makeup artists, Evie Mulattas, from um, Nashville Beast, like I just have my certain team that I stick with and you know they make sure I get, get it done. <laughs> Now, being in the model industry or just the entrepreneur lifestyle period, have you ever felt like you did, you faced maybe discrimination for being dark skinned versus maybe getting certain shoots or? I wouldn't say technically being for being dark skinned. I would say because I went naked or I didn't show my ass that shoot or yeah. I, you know it was more about me respecting myself and I don't I didn't give a fuck if you liked it or not I wasn't getting half as naked to show a shoot for you because at the end of the day it's my reputation it's, it's my image it's, it's my look so I'm going to respect that and I'm going to keep that you know clean cut as much as possible because down the line I'm like oh well all she did was take her clothes off and shoot no there's more to this yeah. <laughs> okay. is there any uh, we just talked about Nashville photographers or whatnot mm -hmm. is there any dream photographers that you want to work with so many yeah. um, from New York to LA it, it's just so many it's Robert Einstein he's one of the top photographers um, from certain models of course Naomi Campbell um, Iman it's just it's just people that I got envision that in my life to see okay one day I am going to be able to shoot with these people one day they're going to see my page but I want to shoot with her yeah. you know it's just things that I want to be able to get people inspired by it just by looking at my profile account. Okay. Yeah, maybe like a dream, like stage to maybe do like, like, like is it Rip the Runway or Victoria's Secret? Is there like a dream, like runway that you want to do? Victoria's Secret. Yeah. Who do not want to be an angel? Victoria's yeah. Secret angel. Yeah. I don't give a damn if I was <laughs> just wearing whatever. <laughs> I would get butt naked for Victoria's Secret because that kind of pay. Like, yeah. it's just something about Victoria's Secret. Like, that's a woman's everyday wear. Like, Victoria's Secret, of course. Yeah. I would love to be a, an angel one day on that stage. Okay. Well, let's talk about um, social media a little bit. Mm -hmm. What can the fans follow you as they want to keep up with Jay? Um, you can follow me at Rache the brand on Instagram and that's R-E-I-J-A-T-H-E B R A N D, um, and that's it. Okay. I try to keep everything on Instagram, keep you updated as much as possible. And you know, you trust me, you will be entertained from yeah. the Insta Snap stories to the pictures I may post in there. Oh, you you will see some pictures, and you will be like, I got a cop her. I got to get that style. How yeah. does she get that look? Even when I tag my photographers or my stylists or my hairstylists and makeup artists, like. Don't be afraid to hit them up. Like hit them up. That's why they're being tagged. <laughs> okay. Now, um, you remember maybe your first social media that you ever had? MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> MySpace, and that wasn't nothing but kicks and giggles. Yeah. It was just like, uh, I got something to entertain me with, or yeah. in somebody else's business. Sometimes mm -hmm. when I want to be, but you know. Okay. 
But let's talk about Reggie the brand a little bit more. Mm -hmm. What made you want to stick to your real name and just say that's what it is? Because I am me. Yeah. I mean, I don't have nothing to hide or to cover up. I don't have no facade or a certain phase that I'm going through. It's just I'm going to give you the 100% me. Mm -hmm. And I want you to see the 100% me. So why not put Rich J the brand? Because everyone wants to create their brand, but I am the brand. Mm -hmm. I am me. So I didn't have no other name but to myself to you. So mm -hmm. when. And it took a while for me to understand how important I was to myself or how important I could be, not just as a model, but a household brand, like a household name, like for anyone to have made my t-shirt in their closet or the mirror printed on their wall. Like it's just certain things that I wanted people to have forever of myself with them. Okay. All right. Well, let's talk about um, maybe some of the shoots you've done outside of Nashville. You had a chance to travel and do some photography, right? Yes, I did. Or some modeling, rather. Yes. Um, what's maybe your favorite shoot you've done outside of Nashville? Um, and it was so random, because you just never know who's watching. Um, one day, I got hit up from a photographer all the way in LA. Mm -hmm. Like, really? I'm a country girl from Nashville, Tennessee. You found me? Yeah, you found me, of course. But you know, it was just amazing, a blessing, of course, to have somebody to reach out to you, like, I ain't charge you nothing. I see your look. I love how you style. I love how you, you know how you present yourself. Let's shoot. So on my page, you'll see and you'll also see locations that I tag. Um, and it was just a great experience to go up to Venice Beach on the actual beach and shoot. I went to LA for business, and it was just like, wow, this my life is you know taking a progress, and I'm I'm on this ride by myself, so I can't do nothing but enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, uh, let's talk about, I want to know some maybe some good shoots or some bad shoots, like maybe some, some bloopers. Like what's the maybe the worst thing that ever happened during a photo shoot? The worst thing that can ever happen is getting your makeup, your hair, your stylist, all are done for someone to say, uh, can we shoot tomorrow? Mm. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> like, run me my money. Like, you yeah. can play with my time, emotions, that's what... You, you have to have that muscle in, in the business because they can take you as a joke. They can be like, oh, well, I just plan you another day. No, let, let me thank, tell you a thing at 15. Like, I don't play about my business, nor do I play about my time, nor my money. So I don't care what this weight may look like. I hold weight, so yeah. you better get your shit together. I don't care if you got to do it on your phone. You're going to make <laughs> some work. Yeah. And that's at the end of the day, you just got to let put that apply that pressure because People can just mistake you for allowing things to happen or putting a pushover or oh, yeah. so forth. So you just gotta let them know, like, hey, I, I may be, you may think I'm this and that, but let me show you who I am and what I will do. If you know things don't work, I will make it happen regardless if you do it or not. So yeah. you know that that can be your 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 loss yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Okay. Did you always? Did you always start off confident? Because I know you said you did uh, like beauty patterns as like a three-year-old, but have you always been confident in doing your shoes as an adult? No, no. How did you grow that um, confidence? Like? It's not that I was insecure. It was just I had to actually build my confidence with being comfortable in front of the cameras, learn how to work the camera, regardless if they didn't have the right direction for me. Okay. Um, so just basically learning myself, practicing in the mirror, mm -hmm. watching YouTube videos, of course, watching America's Next Top Model, just taking notes on every aspect of the model field as much as possible because in a given moment, like, okay, well you do it. You know, I just got the camera, all I'm here is to shoot. So yeah. I just really have to learn how to take full control with being the creative designer or maybe even styling myself sometimes or maybe, you know, it's just making sure I got me at the end of the day because no one is gonna have you like you have yourself. Yeah, okay. Now, um is there also maybe the biggest misconception of Roger or just maybe even being a model overall? Um, the biggest misconception. Like what some people think about modeling that maybe not may not be so true. That it's easy? Yeah. That it's oh, you just taking pictures. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, you a model. Model goes it goes in many directions because you can be an example of someone's life. In a younger girl's life or a grown woman life, like you don't know how much of an effect, positive or negative, you may, you know, take a toll on someone. So it's just being safe with what you post and what you say when you post something, just so they can be inspired by you. So 
I try to lead by example, of course, because I have a younger sister and I have an older sister who both look up to me as a big image. So just making sure I'm doing what I have to do, not only for myself, but for those around me, because I only want to send out positive vibes. I only want to make sure it's the best. If I didn't record every moment that I had behind the scenes and the mishaps and the, the crying moments and the breakdowns and how I'm going to make it. But again, it, it goes back to being patient and praying through those processes because you just never know when it's a breaking point and when it's just like, oh, I'm, I'm ready to give up. I'm ready. But no, it's people that's watching. It's people who's cheering you on and that encouragement to keep going. Like, it's not just about taking pictures. Because I, I mean, again, I do more than just modeling. Well, yeah, let's talk about being an overall entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. um, how do you find time to, like, maybe focus on one thing, one thing at a time? Like, how do you say, hey, I'm gonna focus on this for maybe this day or this week? Or how do you all, how does that come about? Um, I'm a planner, so okay. I, I've always told once you plan it and you have a, a great perspective on it. It's, it's going to get done. You're going to make time for what you want and who you want, you know. So it's just making sure you have it well planned, of course, praying, because it's going to be those days when everything just feels hectic, everything is just running in together. You're like, how the fuck am I going to manage this day? Like, but regardless of how much energy it takes, put that energy all into it, because again, you never know who's watching. You never know at the end of the day, regardless if you're getting that applaud or that, you know, that pat on the back, you did it for yourself. You put it in yourself. So I invest a lot in myself when it comes to time and management and I, I got self. So. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>